Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I'm here with really exciting news, and this is one of those situations where I am forced to say, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I- I'm a little bit wrong. I was a little bit wrong. You see, as Modi France have gone and listed a collection figure box Arceus V. Now, we knew this was coming. Let's be clear. We knew this box was coming. I've told you this box was coming. If you've been paying attention to my videos lately, you will know that this box was on the horizon. But I also told you that I did not think we would be getting the Arceus V promo. I didn't. I didn't think it was coming. It is, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting the Arceus V promo. And I said all the way along, right? I was totally okay with being wrong about this. I wanted to be wrong about this. I am wrong about this. Or I suppose I was at this stage. And I am absolutely delighted. So what we've got here is a box coming with some packs. And to be fair, the promo image we've got here does show two brilliant stars and a fusion strike. And a vivid voltage, but still... That's pretty cool. And you get the figure, and you get the promo card. Now, I think it's fair, and I genuinely do. I'm I'm not making this up. It's a genuine belief of mine. I think it is fair to ask the question whether this is the best or one of the best promo cards we've had. And now, for me personally, I still think Flareon VMAX probably takes it. No, I'm lying. It definitely takes. I prefer Flareon V Max. But I do think this one is right up there as an over the top stunning promo card. Now, for those that may have forgotten, this was a promo card that was given out in Japan. If you. Well, it was an early purchase bonus, which meant you could basically get it anywhere. And as long as you bought the game in Japan, you actually got an art book. And you got this as well, which is really kind of awesome and amazing. And I have said that I didn't think this card was coming out. And the reason was very simple. The game came out at the end of January. And this isn't some random promo, ladies and gentlemen. This is a promo which is very, very clearly tied to Legends Arceus as a game. We are not talking about a random promo here. We are talking about a promo of the game and I do think that's very very important but it turns out we are getting it and on Asmodee France it is listed on there as April the 22nd the previous listing we had was the 6th of May but this does seem to be coming out on the 22nd of April it was also supposed to come with a collector tin featuring iconic pokeball designs which does not seem to be part of what's being shown here so that is a little bit strange in that regard but either way i love this ladies and gentlemen this is absolutely brilliant you will notice however that there is a fairly big difference between the japanese card and the french card here and that is that it's missing the stamp of the game logo and if you know me and follow this channel you will know i am a sucker for a nice stamp And this kind of goes back to what I was saying before. In Japan, this was very much a game promo. It was a promo that was released specifically to celebrate the game. It's Arceus. And obviously, you know, if you've been anywhere near the game, you know it's it's called Legends Arceus. It's got Arceus on the cover. It's, It's a game which is very much made around Arceus. And it's clearly got artwork from the game, clearly showing the Hisui region. And also here we've got the stamp of the game. So it's very much a game promo. Not a random promo, very much a game promo. And I told you that it would be weird releasing the game and then having a promo for the game being released significantly later. You know, three months later at this stage. That always seemed extremely weird to me. It's why I didn't think we were getting this card. Well, it turns out we've gone for a middle ground here. Yes, we are getting the card, and I am absolutely delighted. I have the Japanese version of this card. It is so much cooler than it looks in the image. The image does not do it justice. It is an absolutely stunning card. And now we're going to get the English version, but we don't get the stamp. So it's still very much using artwork from Legends Arceus, but it doesn't go all the way there. It doesn't actually have the game logo on there. It just has the artwork. So I was wrong about not getting the card. 
delighted about that. But I was right about the fact that if we did get it, it wouldn't be stamped. So, I don't know, partial credit? Why not, ladies and gentlemen? Why not? Now, as for the figure, you can see there it is a brand new figure. I did tell you before that there was a figure which was coming as a promotional item if you ordered it from places like the Nintendo Store in the UK. I believe also Game. Turns out different, very different in fact. Very much a different statue figure, call it what you will. It's a little bit busier. There's more going on behind this. Take of it what you will. But this is still extremely cool. Now, I do have to point out at this stage, because this is something I've not mentioned yet, and it is actually extremely important. This is a reprint. This is an alternate art print of the Arceus V that's coming around in Brilliant Stars. So you don't need this card. This is not a card that you have to have. This is a very ignorable product. Now, there is absolutely no way I'm ignoring this. This is one of the cooler, more original, more brilliant looking promos we've had in a long time. And like I say, the Japanese version, the pictures I've, you know, the scan I've put on the screen does not do justice to quite how amazing the Japanese version of this card is. It is an absolutely over the top stunning promo. I want that English version to go in my binder next to the Japanese version. It's absolutely wonderful. But you don't need it. Because it is just an alternate art reprint of the one that came around in... Or is coming around in Brilliant Stars. So I kind of like that. Because it means that if you're not into the artwork... I don't know why you wouldn't be. But if for any weird reason you're not into the artwork... You can ignore it. Although if you're like me, you've probably been playing an obscene amount of Legends Arceus for the past week. Which means that the idea of a card which is clearly very much in tune with Legends Arceus and celebrating it. That's going to be something you're into. It is certainly something that I am into. So this box basically looks absolutely stunningly, amazingly brilliant. I am a huge fan of this. And honestly, I just want it to be here as fast as possible. Are we going to be getting another version in May with the tin? We've seen a listing. Answer is, I don't know. This is not what that video is about. Not in a mean way, but in a kind of look, we can only do so many things in one video. This is about the thing we actually know. Speaking of things we actually know, if you are a big fan of Arceus, another thing that we know right now is that Ultra Pro is coming around with a small range of Arceus-themed goodies. So if you really want to get all up into Arceus, there is a, well, there are, I should say, a couple of elite products coming. There is a Zippered Pro binder. Now there is a 9 and a 12 pocket. They are slightly different sizes. Other than that, they are the same. The 9 pocket is coming for $37. The 12 pocket is coming for $47. So, an extra tenner. Uh, or 10 bucks, I should say. And you've got on the back a rather lovely Pokeball design. On the front, you've got Arceus. Again, we're just going stock artwork here. We know that's how Ultra Pro tends to go. Probably for licensing issues, if I'm honest. But we do have quite a nice design here with Arceus with some detail in front of a larger, different colored Arceus shadow. Which is kind of cool. The 12 pocket binder will hold 480 sleeved cards. The 9 pocket binder will hold 360. Yes, that is three quarters of the 12 pocket. No, you shouldn't be even slightly concerned about that. But essentially what we've got here is an officially licensed binder. Padded leverette cover with foil detailing and a zipper enclosure. And a zipper pull tab featuring the normal energy symbol, which I don't think is actually shown in any of the promotional images. And I've got to take a little bit of exception here. In the trading card game, it's not normal, it's colorless. It is not a normal energy symbol, it is a colorless energy symbol. Boo! And then we are also getting an Alco Flip deck box. Why would you not? That is retailing for $22, $21.99 if you want to be a pedant, which I often do. And you can see here that it's the same kind of thing. It's very much white design. You've got the same Arceus design on the front as you've got on the front of the binder. You've got the Pokemon trading card game logo in the top, which is kind of cool. And this says that it is officially licensed. Holds up to 100 standard size cards double sleeved. Has a strong magnetic closure featuring multiple magnets. To hold the lid securely shut. 
and the lid can be detached from both sides of the box to reveal dual thumb notches for easy access to your deck, which I'm not going to make fun of because that is actually, if you've played Pokemon a lot, that is actually beautiful or any card game. Being able to have a deck box where you can easily get your deck out without having to mash it is a beautiful, beautiful thing. For me... These are skipping. I've, I've got so many deck boxes. I always keep buying more from Japan. It's a, it's a bad habit. But this is really cool stuff if you're into it. But the Arceus box with that promo. Oh, man. It is so cool. It is interesting, like I said, that it is missing the stamp. But I never expected it to get the stamp. Then again, I never expected to get the card. Because putting a stamp on really does make it into a hyper this is about the game. Whereas what we really want is, hey, remember Legends Arceus? That's kind of cool. So that makes sense. We're getting it. That's the most important thing. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hear from you guys. I want to know how excited you are. I want to know how cool you think it is. I want to know basically anything you want to tell me. So go nuts in the comment section, would you? But be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at Lawasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would you thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio